All right, welcome back. Now we are going to discuss about pick list. Let's dive in into our Salesforce Trailhead org here and pop this up on here and I will bring up my blackboard. So what are we going to do here? So we are continuing our Swim Kids program journey. So when a student completed a swimming lesson, so they just finished their swimming lesson with the instructor on the last day, based on the level of the student, the instructor will see different option of recommendation. So for that, we want to create a custom pick list. Oh no, yeah, this is just some points that we are going to discuss. Based on that, we will need to create one new pick list, which is the recommendation pick list, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm not going to confuse you with a lot of talking. Let's just see. So we are going to configure um, objects. Where do we go? Gear icon, setup, all right? Always here. So. I'm going to go to the object manager and where does the swimming lessons live in which object? Do you remember? It's on the opportunity object. We can also rename the object, but that's on a later module probably. So let's stick with opportunity. We can rename this to swimming lessons if we want to. Okay, but let's stick with it because Salesforce use opportunities and we have to get familiar with opportunity name. So on here, field and relationships. I want to create a new recommendation field and populate it with a pick list, but then the value changes depending on the level of the swim kids. Pretty pretty cool right so let's go ahead and and do just that so new and then it's a what pick list because we are discussing about pick list so i'm going to hit next so field label is next step recommendation right so we are going to enter the values so the first recommend, recommendation is recommended to repeat the current swimming lesson, meaning the student failed, okay? So if they fail, well, they have to repeat it even two, three times, they have to pass, okay? So if they pass, recommended to go to the next swimming lesson so what if they are already level 10 they are at the end of swim kids program well there is no next lesson right so we can recommend to apply as a lifeguard or recommended to apply as a swimming instructor depending on how the student did or the personality of the student they can either become a lifeguard or they can become a swimming instructor and start teaching other kids how to swim once they completed level 10 okay so what are these display values alphabetically not in the order they entered well, it doesn't matter because all our values start with the letter R, right? So if we sort that alphabetically, it's going to stay still the same pretty much. But you know, alphabetically, A, B, C, D, right? It's going to sort the values based on the letter, right? So use first value as a default value. So it will always default to what? Fail. <laughs> we don't want to do that. If we want to use the first value as a default value, 
this first option here or value will always be selected when the swimming instructor opens the lesson page it this is selected it's like the student is automatically fail until they change the value to something else let's not do that so but you know what that do right this is just the name this is just the help and the description recommendation for the student on next step i'm just gonna copy and paste this it is not required so let's go ahead and hit next and make it all visible next and we just want this on the swimming lessons okay so we have created the pick list but now if we go back here i want to show only the like recommend to repeat and recommend to the next level uh, to the next level here it's just for level one to nine if the swim kids level is one to nine then we show these two options recommend to proceed to the next swimming lesson or they have to repeat right but if they have completed all 10 swimming uh, swimming kids level 10 all 10 they have completed they can be a lifeguard or a swimming instructor so those are called dependent pick list it's dependent on the level right let's go ahead and do that so it should be pretty straightforward but it's going to be new for you so to do that you go to field dependencies here next to the new when you want to create a new field you have field dependencies okay so click on there and we want to create a new field so opportunity field dependencies a new one so what is the controlling field the controlling field is the swim kids level so based on the controlling field if it's level one to nine what are the options if it's level 10 what are the options well the dependent field is the next step recommendation all right so that's pretty much it and if we hit continue here so um if it's level one right what would you want to display or show the instructor so level one is just that too right same thing with level two let me just um, view all so we don't have that that's better so i'm going to choose this bam so for level one two three four five six seven eight nine we can recommend these two it's only these two that the instructor can recommend they cannot recommend this because they haven't completed the whole program for 10 Oops, I want to select that. So it's a bit tricky with your mouse. So I'm just going to include values first there. Right. <laughs> so then I'm going to do this and include values there. Now that looks better. So now, do you know how to select that? You, you use, you hold your shift key on your keyboard, keep pressing it, and then you do your mouse like that keep pressing the shift on your keyboard and you can click like that right okay so we can save that so if it's level one through nine these are the two recommendations that can be seen by the instructors if it's level 10 oops my bad they don't see this too right so if it's level 10 they don't even see this too so i'm going to exclude the value they can only recommend as a lifeguard because they have completed the lesson or if whatever they fail include the value there if they if they fail level 10 well they can repeat it right but if they pass they can become a lifeguard or an instructor so save that so that is safe now if we want to see it in action let's go back here and opportunities we just want to see it in action here so say swim kids 10 christine kilpatrick here right if you click there 
and you go to the details now um, next step recommendation here at the bottom you see C is swim kids 10 and next step recommendation what do we see here see recommended to repeat the current swimming lesson recommended to apply as a lifeguard and recommended to apply as a swimming instructor so you can see that right is at the bottom here so these three options for swim kids 10 because it's swim kids 10 now if i change this for example to swim kids 4 look at this boom just two recommended to repeat the current swimming lesson and recommended to go to, to, to the next swimming lesson so it depends on the swim kids level if it's one the same thing just two options but if it's 10 there is new ones lifeguard and swimming instructor pretty cool right so this changes the recommendation changes based on the level of the swim kits because we have defined that on the setup so that's pretty much it guys so let's go back here and do our challenge so we have discussed about this when to use the pick list anatomy of a pick list standard pick list custom pick list multi-select pick list well it's basically you can select multiple values it's pretty straightforward nothing complicated about that um oh restricted pick list what about this let me go here so if i go back here that needs to be explained restricted pick list and i go to my object back to opportunities uh, um again opportunities and field and relationships for example we go to the swim kids level right which is a pick list and we go here and then we can also here restrict pick list to the values defined in the value set what does this mean this mean if anybody tries to enter in from a programming point of view api values other than this 1 to 10 it will error out it will not allow it if you do not check this box and a programmer tries to play with this object and this particular value and they enter in a text for example 10 like 10 like this like i mean like 10 10 like 10 right level 10 and then it will actually create a new value called 10 which will mess up your data but depending on your use case you can also allow it just in case you you allow the list to grow as circumstance changes if you want to allow the list to grow the values to grow you can uncheck this so any value outside of this 10 is accepted it will create a new one here whatever that is so that is a restricted pick list okay you got the idea so what else dependent we just create that and that's pretty much it this is the comparison of what you can do for each type and let's do the challenge all right add a pick list field on the standard product object okay with the following settings so macaroon flavor nice so let's do that i'm going to copy this macaroon flavor on the product object all right so go back to our setup here and object manager which object pro duck need to take off the caps lock there product object field and relationships new and it's called it's a pick list so pick list here at the bottom and hit next and it's called macaroon flavor all right and then make sure to restrict pick list value to be checked okay so i'm going to restrict here and enter values and restrict the pick list they want it to be check so we can't enter any other value than this okay i'm gonna copy this 
and visible to all profiles. Oh, that's a pretty simple challenge. So that's pretty much it, right? So I copied the whole thing. And I'm going to hit next and show to everybody. Make sure you do that visible. Everybody can see this and save. Oh, so it's just even it's just a pick list. We don't even make it dependent or anything. Well, that's a pretty, pretty simple challenge. So we finish this and I'll see you on the next module. So let's do the bada bing. Bada boom! <laughs> and three, and two, and one. Get ready to stop the video. Boom! 500 points. I'll see you on the next module.